I'm cleaning out the back room so I can lay down the tile. I have this big pile of tile over here that's been in my house for quite some time. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it looking at it. I just have to get it put on the floor. But I'm also sick of looking at these <laughs> these particle board floors. Look, oh, so boring. Sick of it. What I've been doing all day is moving everything from this back room back here. I'm gonna show you. It's pretty empty. Right now I'm pushing my big, huge coffee table, which I love my coffee table. Where is it? There it is, right there. I'm pushing that into this living room here. And then my whole plan is to clear out this back room. I'm not touching that stuff, it's up high enough. So I'm gonna clear out this room I'm gonna shove everything, everything, into this little room, and also I'm gonna shove the rest of the stuff over here into this room. That way, the back room, I'm gonna tile the entire back room, and I'm gonna go halfway up this hallway. So all this is gonna be finished, halfway up this hallway, and this back room back here, which is a big room. Then when that's all done, I'm going to take all the stuff from this room and I'm going to shove it all in the back room. So I'm just going to kind of flop it back and forth. And then when this room is completely cleared out, then I'm going to bring the tile the rest of the way up the hallway here. And then I'm going to do this room second. So it is a really big job. It's a lot of work, but you know, I just get in the zone where I'm just, I'm like, I'm on a mission. I have to do it. And thankfully I do have a lot of energy. If I can stay focused, I can do big jobs. I have everything, everything in this one little room. It's awful. But Scott keeps saying it's only temporary. So I'm trying to tell myself that it's only temporary and I can't wait until the tile's down. I'm so excited. I love my coffee table because every night this is what I usually do. I'll sit here and I'll do some kind of little craft or something. And right now what I'm working on is this cute little pink scarf that I'm making. So I just think this is, would make such a cute little scarf. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on at night. Now, this is like my awesome coffee table and I wanted it super rugged. So I can do anything on it and I don't have to worry about it. And it has worked out good. I want to show you, this is my big TV behind me. Look at that. Oh, I, I told myself <laughs> when I was building my cabin, I'm like, that's going to be a present to myself when I finish building my cabin. Murphy, are you relaxing up there? Looks like all the sand up there. You've been up there a while. Are you a spoiled kitty with a good life? Oh, you're a spoiled kitty. What are you doing? You're rolling over? You're so spoiled. Murphy says, I lounge around a lot, but I'm a hunter, aren't you, Murphy? He says, I keep all the squirrels out of the cabin. I keep all the snakes out of the crawl space. And once in a while, he's a naughty kitty, and he catches a rabbit, and he eats it. I don't know why he eats it. I feed him. I guess he wants to catch his own meat. Oh, Fifi, did you jump up under there? Is he bunk beds? Murphy's on the top, and you're on the bottom? I'm putting a new hay roll in. Here's a little piggy boy. You're my little piggy boy. <laughs> you're so funny. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Look at those nice, big, friendly eyes. I'm sitting on the truck roof. I'm gonna push with my legs to see if I can get this hay roll out of the truck. Cause Scott's not here to help me. He's like, forget that hay. I want the good stuff. But Thunder loves hay. He loves that stuff. Oh, Charlie decided to come over too. It's like a new roll. I guess I'll walk over for that. First, they have to tear it all off, rub on it, mess it up. It's like a new toy once a week. They're happy. They'll be standing there munching for a long time. 
I'm making some meatballs because I feel like having some meatballs on these little baguettes I have there. Yum! I'm putting onions, black pepper, salt, oregano, and parsley. I love parsley. Sadly, I don't have any garlic in the house, so I'm not going to put any garlic in it. So we'll see how it turns out. And here's the first batch in here, soaking in the sauce. And here's batch number two cooking. Here's my disco ball my sister gave me. I just love this thing. I saw it in her house. And I was like, oh, a big disco ball. I want it. But there's a funny story behind it because her boyfriend had it hanging in her TV room. And she said every time she walked into the room, she was blinded by the thing. And she just couldn't stand it. And when I said, oh, I love that disco ball, she goes, oh, you can have it. She says, run out and put it in your car. So I said, okay, okay, I'm gonna. So I took the disco ball and I ran it out to my car. And here it is in Florida now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this little disco ball in my bathroom above my tub in front of the window. So we'll see if he ever notices that it's his disco ball hanging above my tub. 